Well, we talk about the SEC championship. Now we're going to transition to something that people are going to be talking about a lot, just not yeah. this weekend, also next week. And we're going to be talking about the GHSA state finals. Mm -hmm. uh, we got eight South Georgia teams making their way out to Atlanta, but one of them is going to be making their way out to Mercer, Mercer. Mm -hmm. this Friday. So let's talk a little bit about Valwood. Back in the state finals last year, they had to cut it short. Right. Now they're back in the state finals. Just, just talk a little bit about the Valiants. I mean, this season, it's going to solidify what they've been working for all year. If they can go out to to make it at Mercer University and get that last win. I mean, it's been what since 2017 since they last won the state championship. Yep. And I know that team is really, really fighting for this championship. And when I was talking to coach a couple days ago, I mean, He's telling me those guys, they've got their sights set on it. They're ready for it, and they haven't been more hungry all season. Well, let's shoot out to the GHSA again. Single A showdown. Mm -hmm. Irwin County Clinch County has kind of been the premier teams right. in the single A. Now they're back in the semifinal. They've met in the state finals three out of the last four years. And I tell you what, these two teams are somebody to watch for. They have Definitely. met every single year. They're exactly what you expect. And these guys are just determined to figure out who it's going to be in the state finals this year. Unfortunately, we were hoping it would be two South Georgia teams back in the state finals. Finals, I but know. that's just not the case this it's year. It's an instant classic for sure when those two teams get together. Absolutely. Now let's go out to Pelham looking for their first finals appearance in school history. The Hornets have been swarming the last two years. They got cut short in the semifinals last year. Now they're looking for revenge to get back out there to the state finals. I mean, on offense and defense, their team has been historic all year. Their defense has been lights out for several games this year, and I think they had four or five shutouts. I mean, they have, other than when they met Mitchell County, they have been absolutely unstoppable. And then they proved it again when they met with Mitchell County last week and just took that game away. So yeah. this then you've is... got Then you've got Thomasville, first oh, state yeah. finals appearance since 1993. They're looking for that. And then you got yeah. over there, you got Lowndes, and then you've got Crisp County. Those yeah. three teams are looking for the opportunity to get out there to the state finals. Lowndes, their first one since 2007. Crisp County trying to get out there for the first time. So we'll see a lot of South Georgia teams trying to pull their own, trying to represent South Georgia, and hopefully bring it back some gold for us. We'll have to I see, so though. Close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you next week. We'll have another one for you, a GHSA special as well. So we'll see you then.